Headline news for Thursday, January 5th from the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com, Peter Katz reporting. The House of Representatives tries for a third day today to elect a Speaker of the House. Republican Congressman Kevin McCarthy once again failed to be elected by the Republican majority despite multiple ballots yesterday. Democrat Hakeem Jeffries of New York again got more votes than McCarthy each time but not the 218 needed to be selected. McCarthy was reported to be negotiating well into last night to try to make a deal with far-right Republicans who have blocked his election as Speaker. Tens of thousands crowded into the square outside of St. Peter's Basilica today to hear the Requiem Mass taking place inside for the late Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th. Pope Francis presided. An official history of Benedict's life and service as Pope was placed inside of his casket, according to the Vatican. President Biden visited Covington, Kentucky yesterday to call attention to the project to build a new bridge next to the Brent Spencer Bridge over the Ohio River that links Covington with Cincinnati. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell and Biden displayed bipartisanship in touting the federally funded project. While in Kentucky, Biden announced that he planned to visit the U.S. border with Mexico before going to Mexico City next week for a meeting with Mexican and Canadian leaders. Rick Singer, who was convicted of organizing a scheme that allowed rich and famous people to use bribes and misrepresentation to get their children admitted to colleges, was sentenced to three and a half years in federal prison and ordered to pay $10 million to the IRS and forfeit assets to the government. It was brought out in court that Singer collected more than $25 million in the scheme, paid $7 million in bribes, and used the rest for himself. Eight members of one family were found shot to death in their home in the small town of Enoch, Utah. The dead included five children. Police in Enoch did not provide a possible motive. Bed Bath & Beyond has raised the possibility it might need to file for bankruptcy. In a statement released this morning, it said, quote, The company has concluded there is substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. Bed Bath & Beyond also said the company continues to consider all strategic alternatives, including restructuring or refinancing its debt, seeking additional debt or equity capital, reducing or delaying the company's business activities and strategic initiatives or selling assets or other strategic transactions and or other measures including obtaining relief under the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. Stay in touch with the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com.